Good day brothers and sisters, welcome to the channel. My brother and sister, I just, I need to share the story with you. I need to share the story with you because God is a God who works, God is, works in mysterious ways. God works in mysterious ways. Um, remember the story of Saul? Saul, when, when the donkeys got lost and he had to go looking for the donkeys. But you, we actually get to realize that the whole point of the donkeys getting lost was so that he can go look uh, for the, the donkeys so that he can end up in a certain place where God had told somebody about him and he can be appointed a ruler in the mighty name of Jesus. The donkeys getting lost was God using something in the, in the physical realm to get him to the place where he needed to be at. Well, I had an encounter like that this weekend and guess what? I ended up being gifted a whole dishwasher, guys. I ended up being gifted a whole dishwasher in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm so excited because number one, I don't like washing dishes. I don't. My friends will tell you I don't like washing dishes. <laughs> and I had a dishwasher in my bucket list of things to get for the house because for the first time I'm moving to a place that has a, a, a point for a dishwasher. I have, you know, I've always lived in apartments and they didn't have a, um, yeah, a point for, for a dishwasher, but this place has that built into this gallery. So I was gifted a dishwasher by the mother of the person who I'm buying the house from. And how it happened truly blows my mind. So the message I want to tell you before I tell you the whole story is that, you know, sometimes we get frustrated when things happen. Sometimes something is put before us and we get worked up, not realizing that this, the whole situation has been orchestrated for the point, for just the, for you to get to the reward the, the whole situation has been orchestrated for you to get to the reward you know the Bible says you should be slow to anger the Bible says that we should be patient and we should be loving and if we actually do that you might end up realizing that that thing that looked like a hiccup, that thing that looked like it was supposed to deter you, that thing that looked like it was meant to, 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 to dampen your mood, was actually orchestrated by the Lord so that you can get to a certain place late. Either you will be saved and you will avoid an accident or something, a bad encounter, or you will be uh, delayed now so that you can get to that place in time to meet the right person you are meant to meet in the mighty name of Jesus. That's the message behind this. But let me tell you the story, my brother and sister, because for once I want to keep the story, sorry, this video short. So um, I, I've only seen my place physically been there the time I went to view it, right? So I saw it and um, I put an offer and the whole process began. Uh, the people who I'm buying from were always kind saying, if you ever need to come to the place, um, um, just let the agent know we are more than happy to let you come in any time but I never really wanted to disturb them. The one time when I wanted to take some builders in because I want to do some renovations, uh, we had set an appointment, and, uh, but the couple got COVID. They had said that they are willing to go to their mother's house so that I can go to the house, but I was like, no man, I don't want to inconvenience you when you're sick. Get well, there's no need for us to rush. We'll do this some other time. Anyway, so this is this last weekend here, like today is Monday as I'm shooting this. This was the last weekend for me to get into the house before I move because this is the week I move, right? And um, so we set an appointment for Saturday to go there with the builder and the appointment was set for 11. I'm excited. I want to go to this place before and see because, you know, the DIY person in me has kicked in. I have been looking at all these pictures and breaking walls in my mind. Now I get to physically be there. So we set an appointment for 11, 11 o'clock, you know, you wake up, you don't even feel hunger. I set off to go and I call the guy who's supposed to be doing the tiling at the place. He's like, he's like so far away. And I'm like, what? Our appointment is now. You are so far. Like, what do you mean? And this guy keeps giving me excuses. I was getting so mad. I was getting so worked up. And he kept on like, uh, he said he needed an hour. I called the couple. I'm like, I'm so sorry. This person, 
I, I'm so embarrassed. Let me just go pick him up. They're like, don't worry about it. And then I call the person, where are you? Let me come pick you, pick you up. He gives me some excuse. Don't worry, I'll make it, I'll make it. And then after a few minutes, he calls me, can you add another 30 minutes to the hour? I'm now really boiling. I'm boiling and I start calling around, finding an alternative um, person to tell my place. And the couple was calls me and, and after two hours waiting for me and they're like, I, the lady, cause she's still not feeling well, she said to me, listen, I'm gonna go to my mom's house and, and sleep there cause I'm not feeling well. What I'm gonna do is send you my mother's number. When you get to the gate, call my mother, she'll open the gate for you and she will be the one to open the house for you, right? I'm feeling bad because I'm like, I've really inconvenienced these people. Eventually, I get, I managed to pick up this builder and um, we we go to the place and everything is good. I like him from the moment I see him and we talk about it and I tell him, you're so, you're, you're, you're lucky that I, I, I've taken a liking from, for, um, for you instantly, but please just communicate and always be on time. I'm a person who works on time. Everything is good, we get over that. We go to the house and we're going through the place. And then the mother of this lady says to me, do you have a washing machine? And I was thinking of all the things she could ask me, because I have a washing, I have, sorry, she didn't say, do you have a washing machine? She, she said, do you have a dishwasher? So I'm thinking of all things she could ask me, why is she asking me if I have a dishwasher? Um, I was like, no, I don't. And she's like, okay, uh, would you like for me to give you, I thought she was selling it to me. Um, she's like, I have a dishwasher and I don't need it. So, so I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna buy it from her. And then the way she's talking, she's like, okay, fine. Uh, once my kids have moved in, I'll ask somebody to come and connect it for you. So when, when you come to the house, it will already be connected for you. So I'm thinking now we're gonna get to the price and we never get to the price. And then she's talking, talking, and then I get to realize like this woman is gifting me this dishwasher. The way I was saying, my God is strong. I was like, ah, my God, this God of mine. So I ended up even telling the guy who was late, I was like, mm, God used you today because I wouldn't have ever met the mother. Had, had he been on time, the, the young couple who I'm buying the house from would be at the house. But because he was late and everything worked out the way it is, I ended up meeting the mother and we were there. She took a liking to me and she ended up just gifting me this dishwasher. Guys, the dishwasher is in my list of things that I wanted for the house because I was going to just have this hole uh, where the dishwasher is meant to be. You think I'm done. Uh, this I was going to add on to the, the testimony for the house when I'm there. Not only was I gifted the dishwasher. Um, the house is gonna be registered in the next few days, right? But this couple um, decided that because they're moving out literally today as I'm recording this video, they decided that they're gonna give me the keys tomorrow. So I kept on asking the lawyers, okay, so how much to, cause you know, when you move into a place before it's yours, you have to pay rent, right? So I said, how much do I have to pay per day until registration? Guess what they said? They said, no, we are gonna move out. Today is the 25th. We're gonna move out on the 25th. We'll get somebody to clean and we'll give you the keys and you don't have to pay rent until May. If it's not registered by the 1st of May, don't pay rent between the 25th and May. Yes. God so I'm going to have the keys to the place because I'm doing a lot of renovations before I move in but I won't even have the burden of paying the rent for the week guys tell me that God is not amazing tell me that God is not amazing so uh, my brother and sister I just this is just all I want to say to you that um, you know we read the Bible and when we read the Bible and we hear these stories it, 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 it's, it's crazy how when we read the Bible it, it's like we just treat it as this fantasy it's like we're watching a fantasy movie it's there it's something that doesn't happen but these are everyday stories that 
someone like you and me lived and was written in the holy book but you live this every day you have inconveniences you might never get to know why you had to miss that bus or why that bus was late because you never get to see what happened if there was an accident somewhere but i want you today to carry yourself and face the inconveniences in life and just say i don't know why this is happening but god must have a good reason as to why this is happening for me or it's happening to me i don't know why this is happening but surely god has a good good reason as to allow it to happen i might not know it now maybe one day i will get to understand why because god works in a mysterious way so my brother and sister i just needed to come and share this beautiful testimony with you uh, and to just say that our god our god is a god of wonders and he truly works in mysterious ways he will use anything anybody and any circumstance to get you to the place to the position to the seat on the table that he wants you to be sitting at remember Saul a whole the best part of of the meat was put in the kitchen and left because he was the head and he was the guest of honor um, to a a function he didn't even know he was going to be attending that is God that is God believe it believe it it can happen to you in the mighty name of Jesus amen